What's up guys? This is going to be uh, an airplane building tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you where to find all the parts for the airplane. Uh, it's going to be quite long, about 7 minutes I think. But yeah, first things first you're going to have to get the warden's key. I've got a video on it already. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you want, but it's, it's not that hard. Uh, but uh, to get the door open to get to the showers, you need to be in the afterlife. And to the left of the zombies now, there's a little portal. If you follow that through, and you'll get to the end. There's a power switch. Electrocute that, and that door to the showers will open. Head down to the showers, which is where the washing machine is at. Use the warden's key on that gate. Um, and again, we need to go into the afterlife to turn the power switch on. The switch is at the opposite end of the room, but... Once you've got that on, walk up to the washing machine, turn it on, you've got to wait about 20 seconds and the washing machine will open and then you'll get the clothes. And then, right, that's one part done. Next part, if you head over to the gondola, pay 750, get down to the bottom, follow, the, uh, follow my path down all the way to the bottom to the docks. And there should be a gate with another padlock on, use the warden's key on that. And if you're not playing solo, you need someone to do this with you. So someone needs to go into the afterlife and constantly shock the power for the gate to open. And once you get the part, the gates will do stay open eventually. But he needs to constantly shock it, otherwise it'll close in on you just like this. And we almost failed it because I almost died because there's a zombie right in my ass. But yeah, that's that part. Next up is literally around the corner from here. There's a door to the left of this dog's head. If you go into this room, there's a generator. If you go into the afterlife, like my friend's just about to do, there's a portal on the wall he's just gone through. You've got a shock, I think there's like three generators in there, three like electric boxes. And it'll turn it over override the generator, which actually turns off the force field in the warden's office for another part. So yeah, yeah that's for later though. Alright, for now. Come from the generator room, but I think there's a door you have to buy, it might be 1,000 or 2,000. Follow it up and you'll see you're coming to the spiral staircase. Right at the bottom there's like a, I don't know, it's a combination code thing. Open that with the warden's key, run all the way to the top, enter the afterlife, and as you run down you'll see, when you're in the afterlife, you'll see numbers on each individual like wall as you go down. Memorize those codes, they're random, they, can, they change every game you play. So this one's 982. When you get to the bottom, obviously zap it nine times, then the second one, eight times, the second one, two times. Head back up to the top, revive yourself, and this is where you've got to be quick. You do have until these numbers run out to get to the bottom. Um, so run all the way back down the bottom after. And I think once you get there, if you stick to the left, the lift will be right at the bottom, and there should be a piece of rope in there, which is the third part. For the plane. Let's run past these dudes, keep running down these stairs. Left side, here we go. And use the warden's key again. Open up. And rope. But yeah, I have to get one of my mates to come pick this up because I've already got a part on me. That's what I'm messing about here. That's part three. Uh, for more observant people, you'll probably see we've got two parts in the top left now. Um, we had to start again. We do actually get, I'll edit it in, we do have the clothes already, but that is the third part. For the fourth, we need to head to the warden's office now because we turned the generator, we overrode the ge generator, turned it off. So follow up the spiral staircase, eventually you'll get to the door where I just opened for 1,500. You need someone to go into the afterlife if you haven't already done this, to open the warden's office gate. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that now. Once you get in there, you'll see because the generator has been the generator has been overrided. Uh, the the force field on the gate is no longer there, so we just open that up, and there is the fourth part. Uh, the fifth part, you need to head to the new uh, electric cherry perk, and there is actually uh, that's kind of hidden. But yeah, run behind the electric cherry perk. And I, I don't know what happened here, I just, I get raped, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, once, I'll, I'll get up in a second and I'll show you the rest. But yeah, once that's out of the way, head behind the electric cherry perk, and you'll come to this new bit here. This is actually the way to the roof where you assemble the plane. 
So if you follow our, the way we're going, to the left here is the portal you need to go through. So right now Jordan's in the afterlife, he's going to go through the portal which leads you to the roof. And there's a door, and, and, and the power supply is right next to the door but on the opposite side. I'll run up to it now and you'll see, it should open. Right, now on the roof. This is where you build the plane, man. This is the plane. So add all your parts. Uh, the fifth part is actually just downstairs. It's in the cabinet to the left here. Use the water key to unlock that, pick it up, go ahead and put it on. And like I said, we do actually have the clothes. I'll, I'll do like a little edit here. Not no, no too special. There you go. Let's put the clothes on there. But yeah, there's the plane, man. I was like, oh shit, oh shit, we've completed it, man. We've done the main quest, we've done the main story, we've just completed zombies. I was like, but then I was thinking in my head, that's a little too easy. But yeah, Jack's hopped on here. I think it gives you about freaking 10 seconds. I was like being a noob. I couldn't find where to board the plane. <laughs> and we ended up leaving Jordan behind because he couldn't get on, bless him. But yeah, takes off into the sky. And I think you'll see the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, there he is. I was like, oh shit. And watch what happens. Oh, good. Now you should get 75 Gs here, man, if you're playing on Xbox. But yeah, pack of punches on here. That's all it really is, to be honest. I mean, to get back to the tackle chairs, you need to kill yourself on the electric chair, which is in the background there. But yeah, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll speak to y'all later.